Slate Digital have just released the custom Opto compressor as part of the VMR plugin package. There's been a lot of reviews of it on YouTube, but nobody's talking about the software you'll use to download it. When I first started using VST plugins, it was a question of downloading the plugins yourself and installing them. As we've increased the number of plugins we're using, the manufacturers have realized that it's become an unwieldy process to update individual plugins one at a time. So they've created product managers for us. Now I think this is a great idea. I think some of them are really good. Slate Digital have just released their version and in this video I want to have a look at it and have a look at where it's not quite hitting the mark. So as I've said I like product managers. These are mine. I don't normally have the icons at that size but if you're watching this on a smaller screen it helps you to see what's going on. Some of them are really good. I really do like the ToonTrack product manager which will tell you what updates are available, download them all for you, install them all for you, and then clear up after itself. Really good visually to see what's going on. The same is true, it's not quite as visual, but the same is true of native access from native instruments. If you've got multiple updates to install, you can click the install all button and go off and have a cup of coffee, go for a walk, do what you will, and native access will sort it all out for you. Some of the others are a bit one at a time, but they still get the job done, putting the right things in the right place with the minimum of hassle. Slate Digital's Connect is the new one from Slate that touches all the All Access Pass plugins, all in one convenient package, but it's not quite that convenient. So you install Slate Digital Connect from your dashboard on their website. You log into your account and it's there. You can download it and it runs and then you can install or update your plugins from there. If you choose not to, there are all the offline installers that you can download yourself and run one at a time. So let's have a look at it. Let's close that down, bring it up. The first thing I should point out is that you need to go into your preferences because it says here, if your preferences are not set, all plugin formats will be installed by default. Now, I just can't see the logic behind that. Yes, I can see the logic of installing VST3 and VST2 because it says here that FGX and Repeater do not support VST3. But unless you're running Pro Tools and something else, would you really want the AAX plugins and the VST plugins on the same machine? I can't see that you would. There's a further wrinkle. Let's just enable VST2 for the moment. Keep an eye on updates when I click out. Where did they all come from? Well, the answer is I've selected VST2 as a format. And if I was to click on update to install the custom opto, say, it will install the VST2 format. But if we click on that, it says that all the VMR modules will update together. Why is that a problem? Well, let's go back to the web. Let's just have a look. I think we can do it from here. Yes. This is part of VMR, the virtual microphone system, and it will install these modules for you. Now, if you have the virtual microphone system, that's easy. If you don't, it will install them and there is no way from within the VMR itself, once you've installed it, to disable, hide, or delete those modules. As someone who likes a clean workflow and likes to see only 
what I want to use, that for me is a big no-no. If we go back to preferences and I uncheck VST3 and go back, just out of interest, you will see that if I update now, it will not only install the VST2 format, it will uninstall the VST3 because I've told it I don't want VST3s. So I will go back to preferences and reset that to be VST3 only because I don't see why I would want the VST2 formats installed because I'm never going to use them. The VST3 formats are more processor friendly. Why would I want the VST2 formats? Anyway, although FGX and Repeater do not support VST3 and I've selected VST3 only, if I go back to all plugins, you can actually see that FGX is there as is repeater. So let's have a look in Cubase and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so we've got the virtual rack loaded. If I bring it up, if you had the microphones installed, you would have a section there where it says microphones. Now, by default, when you open this up, everything's expanded. If you have the pretty pictures enabled, then you really are going to have to scroll and scroll and, scroll and keep scrolling until you get to what you want. And you're going to have three of these. You're going to have effectively a full screen's worth with modules that you don't use and have no use for. So that's why I like to keep my workflow clean. Everything's there. If I want a mastering plugin, you know, trimmer, for example, I can just pull it in, drop it in where I want it. Same with revival. Now, I have spoken previously about the VST plugin manager. And there's a point to this, because if I go into the plugin manager, this is my set. This, if I drop down here, you'll see that that listing is there. This is one I've created in the plugin manager. If I enable the default set, you'll see that this list gets longer. And that's because some of the slate plugins are now appearing under the original manufacturer's name and nested into different folders. So in my format, they're all under Slate Digital. I don't uh, worry about them being from different manufacturers. As far as I'm concerned, an EQ is an EQ and a reverb is a reverb. I like to keep things done by manufacturer rather than by format or type, uh, should I say, uh, because I know which ones I've got and I know where my favorites are. The other thing about this is that you do end up with multiple entries because some manufacturers can't seem to decide who they are. And the point about VST2 and VST3 is illustrated by this. Now, nothing against Isotope, great company, make great products, and I'm certainly not knocking them for a freebie. But if you download vinyl, it will install twice. Why is this? Well, if we sort our effects list by vendor and go down to Isotope, you'll see that vinyl, when it installs by default, installs the VST2 and VST3 plugin. You'll notice that this is a pattern that repeats for most of Isotope stuff. I've never seen a way to disable that dual installation. Uh, maybe I've missed something, but either way, when I go into my set and I look at Isotope, vinyl, somewhere in here, 
there will be vinyl. There it is. Had to be at the last one. So that's a few thoughts. Going back, however, to um, Slate Connect, just for one second. There is one other thing I should point out. In its enthusiasm for installing the right format, it managed to uninstall the THU Slate Edition. So what I ended up doing was having gone through the experience of downloading and realizing I'd got these installed and this missing, I had to go back to the Slate website, uninstall VMR, download the installer, reinstall it, because when you reinstall it using the, this installer, you can choose which modules you get. And I was able to say no thank you to those. I also then had to come back here and download the installer for the Slate edition of THU for the standalone. That way I got the VST3 plugin and the standalone. So Slate Digital Connect works really well for everything else, but for the VMR and the THU Slate Edition, it needs a bit of refinement. And uh, I'm not knocking Slate, just like Isotope, they're a great company. I have their products, I've paid for their products, and I use them, and I think they're really good. But when it comes to things that are supposed to make your life easier, making your life a little bit more complicated, it's kind of missed the point. I know this has been a bit focused on Slate plugins, uh, but there's a lot of us use them, so I hope it's helpful for everybody. If you have found the video useful, then please like and subscribe down below. And as always, until next time, you take care of yourselves.